Hey guys, welcome back to another comic book news. Well, actually, it's not news. It's more of a discussion and theory. So just hold your horses because we're going to dive into this one. Now, I saw this article due to a recent thing that I saw from one of my um, favorite writers, but we're going to focus on this article first. Now, 10 DC comics that would be perfect for HBO Max. And so, and so we have like the Justice League International, that would be a pretty cool, you know, HBO Max show. The Terrifics, that would totally be a good one. Our Man, haven't heard much about him. Vixen, Vixen, she totally deserves her own show, let's be real. That girl needs her own show. Secret Six, again, another one that could really work well. But it, I know I'm saying every single one of these are good. Oh, and Mother Panic. And Primer, my favorite, you know, superhero. Like, and, oh yeah, and the Metal Men. Oh, but Dazzling Kate, why aren't you making them a big deal? Hush, hush, hush. I'll discuss, I'll discuss. Now, it's interesting these- oh yeah, and Wonder Girl. Honestly, I don't think Yara Floor needs her own show, let's be real. I mean, take a look at Naomi. That's not doing well. That is not doing well. I mean, I know she's a new character, but I think the other Wonder Girls before that, like Cassie and Dona, I think making a show about, you know, one of them, maybe Cassie, because Cassie deserves more love. She would be perfect for a show like an HBO Max show, so that's just my opinion. Metalman. Pretty good show. Idea. Mother Panic. All these ideas are pretty good. I don't know why DC doesn't do it. But here we go. Here we go. Primer. Now she would be a perfect kid show. And the reason why I want to talk about that is because I actually saw this, you know, this article on one of the writers page. Well, both of the writers pages on Instagram. And I was like, what are you guys assuming? Like, I really was confused of how they worded a few things. Now, I'm not going to say, you know, they confirmed it. They didn't do any of that. They didn't confirm it. It just seems really odd to me that they say it in a specific weird way. Like, in an odd way of saying it, you know? I'll, I'll show you. I'll, sh I'll show you. Okay, like, um, image. And let's focus on this. Oh, fuck. Trying to grab the picture. Sorry, guys. Okay, so... Tom is one of the writers for, like, you know, Primer. And he's like, Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. Ahem. Winky face. So... I, I know it's like, he's probably, you know, joking around or something. But what he said to me was like, Be careful what you wish for. I was just like, if we get a primer show, I will scream in joy. She and, you know, Whistle both need their own shows. Because, you know, they're pretty good characters. And I think they would work really well for kids right now. And, you know, teenagers. Because, you know, Whistle would be a more, you know, teenage here. Like, teenage focused show. I think she would be a perfect show, to be honest. More so than other examples. But that's just my own personal opinion. But I was like... I need, like, they both need their own shows. And Tom was like, be careful what you wish for. And I'm like, this is theory, this is theory time now, guys. This is theory time. Now, honestly, I don't look too much into everyone's words too often. But when you say it like, when Tom was like, yeah, well, we'll see what happens. Ahem, winky face. That tells me a lot of things. Now, Tom and, um... I keep forgetting her. Jennifer. Jennifer. Hopefully I said her name right. Yeah. Both Tom and Jennifer. They're both the writers for this. And how they were like, um, some, like both of them have had experience in making shows from what I've, you know, in like understood. Like there's a lot, like I can pull an article up right now. Well, not an article, but like Now, 
Now, you know, Tom has been nominated for like, you know, Daytime Creative Arts Emmy Award for Outstanding Writing in an Animated Program. Which is pretty interesting. And I'm not going to take that lightly, you know. And again, Jennifer is another one who's, you know, worked in the animation department. And both of them worked on Buddy Thunderstruck, which I've never personally watched, but they also worked in Justice League. Well, she's worked in Justice League Action and Spider-Man. And, you know, having all these different um, animation department stuff. Um, oh, wow. She worked on Dora the Explorer. I know that's not impressive, like super impressive, but honestly, it's interesting. And you know, she she's worked in writing a lot of other things, which is cool. And you know, she's worked on the Last Kids on Earth, Onyx, Aquanix, Wacky Races, Spider Man, like I said before, Star Wars: Forces of Destiny, Justice League Action. Lego DC Superhero Girls. And I know that's not a lot of ex experience to some people, but I think... And, and of course, there's a lot of, like, other ones. Yin, Yang, Yo. Dibbo, the Gift Dragon. Care Bears, Adventures in Carolot. Wow. There's, like... I know there's a, not a whole lot there, but, like... I really do think they do have the qualifications and experience... So being involved in Star Wars, Buddy Thunderstruck, Justice League Action, and Spider-Man, I think if they were to make their own show, it would make sense. If you have Jennifer and, you know, Tom working on an animated TV show for Primer, it would totally work because they already know some of the ins and outs and they know what they want for their character, which is, you know, Primer. I I'm looking at the stuff right now. Sorry, I'm not showing the screen. But I, I still can't believe how, you know, Tom, like, answered my question. Like, be careful what you wish for. And um, it's really interesting because I do really love these two for their, like, work on primer. I might have to check more and more as soon as possible when it comes to, to other things. Now, um, Thomas, like... Or, you know, Tom... Yeah, he calls himself Thomas. Oh, wow. He, he's had a lot of other experience. Too. He's been a writer for, like, um... Scooby-Doo and Guess Who? Oh, wow. That's impressive. Any... Be Cool Scooby-Doo? Oh, New Looney Tunes. So he's definitely had a lot of experience in writing kid shows. Iron Man Armored Adventures... Kit Bo Butwowski. I, I couldn't say that right. The Penguins of Madagascar. Fairly Odd Parents. <laughs> then there's Skunk Fu. Cat Scratch. The Replacements. Wait, wait. The Replacements? Like... I'm trying to remember if I... Oh, The Replacements! That's my favorite show! Well, favorite show when I was, like, you know, a kid. I mean, it still holds up today. That, that's pretty... He, I mean, he wrote one episode, but it... That's not bad. Being involved in so many different projects, he should know a lot more about, you know, writing kid shows. So that's what led me to think that he definitely... and Like, he and Jennifer probably have, um probably been contacted by DC to make a show for Primer because you know they have experience already they already did um you know Primer the book that was successful and you know if they're going to be getting a show for Primer it would be the perfect opportunity that's their best selling book and if they made a book like show based off of their best selling book and have the people who made the character involved fully like, I understand a lot of people don't have time for that, but I wouldn't mind if they had, you know, brought in people who know, who know what they're doing. And I'm sure they would love to see Primer be brought to life to little kids for, like, 
a TV show. That would be the perfect way to have a kid show introducing Primer who could, you know, become more and more of a big superhero. And, you know, since she has so many different powers, people can write the way, like, they can use whatever power they want for one episode or something. It, honestly, I really, really hope this is true, but I also know that, you know, it's, you know, sometimes people say it in a way because they're kind of hopeful as well, and I'm looking way too much into this, but I just can't help but think since, you know, both Jennifer and Tom have experience in writing TV shows for kids and animated shows in general, and also, you know, being able to make a successful book like Primer, I would think maybe, just maybe, they would be able to be involved in the animated series if it were to happen. Because again, you guys got to remember, Primer was one of the, like, is a big book. Like, like, let me just, um, take out the image, um, display capture. Uh, wait, no, that's the wrong one. Display capture. Okay. Oh, fudge. Okay. Okay, so guys, like I said before, his work experience, there's a lot. He's had his, like, you know, good share of being involved in, you know, animated series and kids series in general. He knows how to write. And if he was writing Primer episodes and, you know, making sure it stays on, you know, in touch with what he sees and, like, how he feels about the character as well as Jennifer, this could really, really work. I, I'm kind of hopeful because, you know, again, when you have, um... When you have like um comic okay kid comics usually there's like it does show more in like you know Google I just wanted to see if I could find it on here but that's just me. But yeah, it's, if you take a good look at like Primer, the graphic novel, people love it. Wait, where's the reviews? Audience reviews. I mean, even in Amazon, like 3.9 out of five at Goodreads, 4.8 at Barnes and Nobles, and on Amazon, Primer Book. See? It's editor's pick. It's one of, like, and if you write comic books, oh, fuck. Oh, but Dazzling Kate, I don't see it. Okay, you get my point, though, right? Or if you write, like, for kids. I'm sure it's there. Like, that's what I would think, you know? Because it's, like, one of the top books for, you know, kids to read. Again, see, first page. If it gets to the first page, that's all that matters to me. Again, Primer has a crap ton of reviews. And it's definitely shown. It's definitely shown. It's really good, guys. I promise you that. It's probably one of the best reads. Like, I know it's, like, weird being like, oh, wow, like, Dazzling Kate, you're reading little kids' books. But if you really think about it, we're all reading little kids' bro books. Comic books, you know, started as a, you know, type of media for kids to read about superheroes. And you know what? Like, I always hate when people are like, well, young adult graphic novels aren't good. And, you know, it, get, it introduces the kids into it. It just... Look at how big these reviews are. Everyone's happy with, like, the book. And, yeah, a lot of people buy it for the art. 
and everyone like it's so per like I really really do hope that this character does get a show because it would help her character a lot more it would raise a lot of more like people to get involved into her story and both you know both boys and girls like the character I, I know a lot of people are like well when it comes to female characters they never sell well or they don't do well and you know primer I feel like Primer could really, really do well against the odds because, you know, you have a character with so many abilities. She's kind of like Superman. Like, the reason why I say kind of like Superman is because she's powerful, but, you know, she has her own abilities aside from, like, you know, laser vision, flying. I mean, yeah, she has flying. She has super strength, but she doesn't have every single ability Superman has. She does have extended different abilities that work in different shapes and ways. And that's what I love about her character. And honestly, it's a good, you know, under $10. Anyone's willing to read it. Like, under $10. It's worth it. The art is beautiful. The writers are amazing people. Like, interacting with them is probably the best thing about being on Instagram or Twitter. When I see them, you know, talking about Primer, I just... I try my best to include myself whenever I can because, again, these writers need to know how great this character is. Now, I know, I know I've been rambling. I'm a huge <laughs> fangirl of, you know, Primer. But I think it works. Like, honestly, I, I really do like interacting with, you know, Tom and Jennifer when something Primer like related comes up and with this I'm just like again I'm just pretty excited if the if they are you know hinting at a possible either more series you know more books after the first one and you know more like a tv show I, maybe it's too soon to do a tv show but honestly I think it fits it would get it would really work out if you know you got Tom and Jennifer working on the show together and it would really, really bring a new character to life that could make a big difference in a, in the DC Universe. Since, you know, she's already been seen in the DC Universe with Whistle. And I'm super happy about that, guys. Like, uh, I'm sorry if I'm rambling too much. It's just I really, really love this character. I really love the writers. And I, I definitely got to check out what they, you know, th those episodes they've been a part of just to see how good they've written those episodes or like how poor it started either way i really love how like how they're how much work is behind their like you know resume and they can you know be like if the, if there was an animated primer show tom and jennifer would be the perfect pair to bring that character to life even more because i don't think if you take away those two it, it's not going to be the same it's not going to be the same I know DC can do whatever they want with it, but if they want to make money with the character, then you got to get these two involved. It's like, for Spider-Man, you had, you know, Stan Lee, like, for a good majority of the beginning, he was there, and, you know, eventually there were new writers who took over, and he became an editor, and, you know, it still worked. Now, if Tom and Jennifer could, you know, get more involved with, you know, the animated process, and if they ever were to get an animated series for Primer, maybe that, like, maybe they're hinting towards that? I'm not too sure. But I am pretty happy with what we ended up getting, and more, and more hints at maybe a show. But again, this is just a theory, guys. I don't think a series is gonna come, like, you know, come in and happen, because I know a lot of people will be like, well, look at look at this again, like another new character getting a TV show and they'll immediately start like, you know, comparing it to Naomi or something. But there's a, you know, a clear difference between the two. And I feel like a lot a lot of the time we don't give a lot of new characters a chance and I feel like for Na like not like for Naomi, it was clear she needed a lot more work in some ways, in some ways. And in in those ways, it's just mostly like some dynamic and characterization with connections but with primer it could work her having her own show 
own animated series, that could work. Introducing it to kids who, you know, already read the book and they see Primer on TV, it could work. It's one of the best-selling books out there in, like, you know, DC's YA novel area. And I really wish people would acknowledge that not every single book will be the same. I always try and give everything a chance. That's only because I've always been raised to, you know, give things a chance. If I don't like reading it out, like, you know, if I didn't enjoy reading it after I finished it, I will say, okay, this was not good. But with Primer, I was like, you know, at the beginning, I had my doubts. I was like, another female superhero. Great. Like, just let's get this over with. And, you know, reading that, I felt like I felt like a child again. Like, I I know that's kind of weird. But like I, reading it, I was thinking of you know the Teen Titan, Teen Titans animated series, you know the 2003 one, not the new one, the newer one. And you know I just felt like I could really sit down and enjoy this, not feel pressured by anyone to say, well, it was um this or it was that, it was this or that. And you know it was original, it was good, it. <laughs> And again, guys, you gotta read it. You gotta. It's under $10 right now on Amazon. At least that's what it says for me. And you know me. If I were to, like... I I would buy that just to, like, hand it out for all of my friends. But I know my dad would be like, Why are you buying, like, 10 books? (laughs) Anyways, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did, and if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and I will, you know, I'll make more content eventually when I get time. I'm, I'm, I have a slow process as of lately, so yeah, not a lot is going on. But anyways, guys, remember, this is just a theory. I don't really think a series is going to come out just yet. It, it, I mean, the words that, you know, Tom is saying seems kind of odd to me. Like, those, those are odd words to use. But hey, I'm not like, maybe he was just like, you know, enjoying the possibility himself and he was like super happy and, you know, maybe that's how he reacts. But the way he responded to me, I'm like, the dude's obviously hinting at something. Maybe I'm overlooking it, like looking way into it. I mean, looking way too much into it, overthinking, that kind of thing. So yeah. Maybe there is a series coming our way. Maybe there isn't. I kind of want to think about maybe the possibility. Yes, it could happen. But again, I kind of doubt it. If it does happen, I will be freaking happy. I will be freaking happy. Anyways, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Anyways, this is Dazzling Kate signing the heck out of here.